everybody live on and here today I am bringing you a game mode video and when I say game mode video I am talking about a game mode that me and some of my friends have came up with inside of extinction now for one you're probably asking me why the heck am I making my own game modes inside of extinction and that I will cover in the second half of this video but for now just let me tell you what this game mode is and basically it is it's catch it, it really is it's, it's just it's catch I'll try to just hold X now there. normally when you throw a hypno knife inside of extinction as long as it is your own hypno knife you can go and you can pick it up now if your friend throws a hypno knife and it lands near you most of the time you cannot pick it up now this is kind of a glitch I guess I don't really know I it, it, it's it's a glitch well, yeah. I'm just gonna say it. it is a glitch that they have kind of miscoded basically because as you can see I am very clearly picking up the hypno knife that he is throwing inside of me and he is picking up the hypno knife that I am throwing inside of him now basically how you pull this off is you both originally have to have hypno knives uh, okay. and uh, I honestly came upon this by accident, but I'll get to that later. You both have to know, have to have hypno knives. One of you has to throw your hypno knife and lose it. In this particular game, as some of you guys, or well, most of you guys know, I use a special controller because I am a quadriplegic. And on that controller, there is a really <laughs> a big bit. red button. It is extremely easy to push. And that button for me would be your tactical grenade button. Now, I, I accidentally hit this with my elbow here. whenever I was going to grab my drink uh, out of my cup holder. Hit, I and I threw my hypno knife off of the okay, entire map. Here. And then shortly afterwards, we cleared out yeah. one of the uh, mammoths. Yeah, mammoths. That's... Uh, mammoths, rhinos, they look the same. I get them mixed up in my head. Don't judge me. Anyways, back to my Don't story. Not, yeah. We cleared out one of the mammoths. Right, go, I opened ready? up the locker with my locker key and I got a it's bulldog insane. shotgun out of the locker. And as most of you know, if you have watched my videos in the past, I love the bulldog and most of the people I play with love the bulldog because it is an awesome shotgun and in my opinion, one of the best weapons in this game. And Mr. Rogue Leader over there was angry that I got a Bulldog and he got something like an MK-14 and decided he would be a um, funny person and throw his Hypno Knife in my face and s stab me in the face with a knife, basically. And little did he know, and little did I know, that when he did that, I was able to pick it up and I kind of stole it from him. And I was just thinking to myself in that moment, why did that just happen? And then came back that beautiful memory of me chunking my hypno knife off of the cliff to my right, as of now in the video. And I was just like, wait a minute. I wonder is if when you lose your hypno knife, you can start picking up somebody else's hypno knife that they throw and miss. And I was just like, okay, I'm going to throw this back at you and you tell me if you are able to pick it up. And he was. So this is basically what the game code it thinks right it thinks after you've thrown your okay. hypno knife it thinks that you can go and pick up any hypno knife on the ground <laughs> assuming that it is your hypno knife but the game doesn't know is after a hypno knife is thrown and on the ground it apparently just doesn't really care whose hypno knife it is anymore after you've lost one However, if you've never had a hypno knife in the first place, the game is smart enough to know you never had a hypno knife, you couldn't have lost it, you cannot pick that hypno knife up. And that is basically the quote unquote glitch here. And me and Rogue were doing this gameplay after about a few hours of doing testing with the arc attachment on that video I did a few days back. If you have not watched that video, please go and take a look. It has a few interesting details about the arc, some of the things I did not know. And, well, as you can see, I have no money here, so I bought the Amelie not too long ago. Uh, I had to give up my Bulldog. I was really, really unhappy about that because that's really hard to give up as a Bulldog. 
But yeah, the Amelia is a weapon specialist. That's the part of this video that that actually is. But anyways, the game mode is basically you are just playing catch with your hypno knife, and that may sound extremely stupid, and it honestly is extremely stupid. But at this point, it was actually really really fun because we were testing things out for hours and that brings me to the second half of this video yeah. extinction as we all know is slightly repetitive in its gameplay and that you take your drill which kind of annoyed me they call it a drill and this one instead of scanner which the guy calls it a scanner but the the, the uh, actual yeah, label says drill that, that just way. really got on my nerves yeah. i don't know why i'm yeah. sorry i know i'm little little details anyways back to one story you you plant this scanner slash drill every hive you defend it you know you have a you have an ending objective I didn't see it. and you know it uh, it's it's pretty fun but sign, so. it's repetitive and the gameplay I enjoy it I love extinction I can play That's extinction good. pretty much all day still but the testing is also it's the better, exact it same it is repetitive. And you guys know that. You've watched my videos. You've seen how I do 99% of my damage tests. It's somebody holds right shield, I shoot Rhino, X number of times I give you damage and percentages. That's pretty much how the damages parts of things have went. That is how I still have to test damages. Because really in this, that is my most accurate way of testing these things. And after the, oh, I don't know how many Rhinos... We actually ended up pulling how many mammoths we had to kill in between rhinos. And there were even a few games we got into where we did not even get a single rhino. That, I mean, this was many, many hours of testing that we had to do. It takes up a lot of time. And at this point, we were, I mean, throwing the hypno back, hypno, hypno knife back and forth was seriously super, super fun. Just because that we had been doing the same thing for a few hours straight and as you can see there we were bouncing on mushrooms that's how bad it got now like I said this was all in one sitting it's the only reason it was that bad uh, I tend to do all my testing in one sitting because of that I like to get out of the way I do not want to actually say drag it out too much basically uh, I like to get it done and done get my video out get it made get it done as fast as I can yeah, like get it to y'all like, as fast as I can game and it's like dude this is we just did that we just played hypno catch from like off the map uh, we were actually discussing how stupid people <laughs> were thinking that we were going to be for actually enjoying this but like I said that is a nice it's the same thing it's, it's like if you did this for example if you went through a point of contact and you did it the exact same way, every single challenge was the exact same. Every single time. You use the exact same gun, use the exact same pistol, and you put your skill points in the exact same tree and exact same class every single time. That is basically like what a what the testing is like. So when you do that for X number of rhinos straight. It, it does get very repetitive for one day and I'm just saying one day the next day I can go and do some more testing I'm fine that bothers me none but like I said for that particular day I had had enough of shooting the back of rhinos and counting bullets basically moral of the story so I'm putting this out there not saying I'm tired of extinction that is not what I'm trying to say I'm putting this out there saying if you went through say just three or four runs of extinction and you know what you just wanted to do a little bit of something crazy a little bit of something more fun just get get a little something out of your system and then jump back into another normal game of extinction throw hypno knives back and forth at each other bounce on mushrooms and try to stick your IMS on it change up the way you're gonna play the game play it with only your Panzer Faust I mean that that is what the replayability of extinction is and that is one reason I play it as much as I do and can play it and do play it as much as I do there are options and there are limitless options anyway guys I hope you enjoyed the commentary I am happy to have my own mic back I love my audio technica sound so much more it actually gets some uh, mid-level 
capture in my voice. I don't like the way that cheap microphone captures stuff. I just really don't. I don't think it picks up my voice near as well either. Yeah, I could be completely wrong. It might just be the opposite way around and the fact that I don't know. I like just the way my voice sounds better and I want it to sound this way. I really don't know. But I hope you enjoyed. I hope you try the game mode and don't think I am an idiot for suggesting it. And I hope you can successfully put your IMS on a mushroom and say three bounces. That That is my challenge. You bounce no more than, th actually Rogue did it one. Yeah, I never did it more than, or less than three. But you know, bounce on mushrooms, throw hypno knives at each other, have fun in other ways that developers did not intend for you to have fun. I guarantee you developers did not intend for an entire team of people to grab Panzerfaust together and all use them. Because honestly the idea sounds completely stupid. And that's honestly what made it to me extremely fun was the fact that you know what I am just murdering things with rockets. It, it to me things like that it just it couldn't get better it could not get better anyway guys this is life on in here hope you enjoyed follow me on twitter be sure to follow me also on twitch i live stream pretty much every single day now um today was an exception because i was uh, a little bit out of commission i wasn't even actually on live but that being said uh tomorrow should be a normal day I should be on I should be live streaming I may be live streaming zombies I might be live streaming multiplayer I might be live streaming testing I might be sitting there talking to people in the chat I have absolutely no idea what I will be doing on twitch at any certain moment I have no schedule I can just tell you it will be during the week and not on weekends because on weekends I have terrible internet and it will be after 12 central time in america and you know i would love to see you guys over there and love to just kind of chat with y'all interact with y'all while i'm playing let you guys choose some challenges for me heck give me a sniper challenge give me an l115 challenge i would love to take it and most likely utterly fail but hey at least you can say i tried anyway guys it's life on in here i am out